seeing as there has been some talk about Jared Anderson, I figured I'd give you my thoughts. So give the video a like, comment, sub. You, you let me know what you think about Jared Anderson. And um, check out my Patreon where I will give you some additional thoughts about um, what's happening here. Anyway, don't know why the tablet's doing this, but we're just going to have to cope with this, I guess. Anyway, uh, you saw the title. Heavyweight Adrian Bronner, right? Now, the people who maybe eight years ago were calling Adrian Bronner, you know, the next great American. <laughs> the great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was some uh, fun days in the white TVC. You know, uh, pound for pound, shout out to Devin Haney. Uh, amazing, great, da 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 da, the future of boxing, you know. Uh, some of those same people will probably get mad that I'm calling Jared Anderson, you know, I'm comparing him to Adrian Bronner. Why? Why are you getting mad? Haven't you learned your lesson? Now, this model with Jared Anderson is going to be different than Adrian Bronner because Bob's been in the game a long, long time and they know what they're doing. But he really reminds me of Adrian Bronner a lot. Um, I think the talent level is similar as they were both are were both very talented um i would say at the point in time when bronner was making a lot of noise um, he was more technically advanced he was better technically um you know he bronner for his part was faster for example i would say anderson is more fluid maybe but they really fight. They really remind me of one another. They fight very, very similarly. And I think there's a lot to work with there. I think there's a lot of talent there, right? Now, he's still very young. And he has a lot to prove. Uh, he's fought nothing but bums and, you know, a couple of guys that were eh, eh, like to slink over there in the background. Just pooped his pants, basically in the fight and started pulling his punches uh he was just scared and then he quit right he got hit with a half decent right hand i didn't land all that clean and then he got pushed down by a wrist and he just checked out because he pooped his pants so it is what it is um i think the power of anderson is very overrated um he hits hard don't get me wrong he hits hard and he'll be able to knock guys out up to a certain level but at the same time you know while he has a lot to learn so you got to cut him some slack but he's very flawed at this point in time and uh, just kind of basic straight up and down no special effects kind of a guy right athletic fast hits pretty hard and he's aggressive right so it, it gets a lot of people excited but um you really got to sit there and watch him and maybe more importantly watch him develop and see how he develops before you could make any sort of a call as to you know where he's going to be in my opinion but i will tell you a lot more <laughs> what i think about jared the jared anderson project on patreon but um you know very dirty fighter loves to use his um, elbows, loves to throw elbows, uh, loves to low blow, headbutt. Um, it, it's easy to understand why. Check out my Patreon. Um, yeah, you know, lots of hype. I think he's talented and I think he's promising. And I think if they give him the right fights, right, and his opponents actually come to test them, um, then I, I think he can develop so long as he works hard. But, you know, uh, yeah, I'm not going to give too much away here because, well, it's just not worth it for me anymore 
to uh, tell you what the deal is. So I'll do that on Patreon. But, you know, he's I think he's an exciting addition to the heavyweight division. And all I'm saying is, look, Adrian Bronner had a ton of talent and he was very promising. And we saw what happened there, right? We, they rolled the dice. They they thought he was the shit, right? They didn't see any other flaws. They they didn't seem to see any other problems. So they put him in real fights, and we found out how good he was. Not that good, right? And yeah, you could talk about issues outside of the ring. That was definitely there, right? Uh, I don't know what Anderson is like. I mean, he seems dedicated, right? And he hasn't had his... Fernando Quintero moment, at least not that I've seen, uh, definitely, or maybe just not yet. So it seems at this point in time that he's, you know, more serious about the game. Whereas with Bronner, I thought that everyone was so hard up his ass and just hyping him the hell up way beyond his abilities, right? Not I, I wasn't, right? that I think it got to his head and he just figured, you know, like I was born to do this, right? It's it's in my DNA, you know what I mean? I'm I'm superior because, well, you know why, right? And I think everyone around them thought that too, to a certain degree. So they didn't really protect them. They just rolled the dice and they put them in the fights and they realized that it's all mythology, right? It's It's just, it's all bullshit. It, it's not true, right? But that's how Heyman, you know, he hadn't been in the game for too long. And they they learned their lesson with Adrian Bronner and Berto. They, le- they learned their lesson. And now they put on the kind of fights that they put on. We all know what kind of fights they put on, especially when it comes to someone like Tank or Charlo. We know what's up with these fights, those of us that know what's up. So Bob Arum is a lot savvier because uh, he's been in the game much, much longer. And they're going to do what's quote-unquote right when it comes to Jared Anderson, you know what I mean? So they're going to keep him winning, basically, is what I'm saying. But in my opinion, he is, at this point in time, I, he just reminds me of Adrian Bronner, man. You know what I mean? Just reminds me of Adrian Bronner. Fights like him, too, very similarly. And, um, you know, that works up to a certain level. And after that, he really has to he really has to get better. He has to sharpen up his game, and he has to learn technique, you know what I mean? He's got some basic technique, like basic boxing technique, right? Good athleticism, speed, and he likes to fight, right? So that's all good. Um, but, you know, I, in my opinion, if the going gets, gets rough for this dude, expect all kinds of dirty shit. Because I, I already, you know, if, if he's employing these sort of tactics against bums right now, then, I mean, it's going to get real bad if they put him in real fights. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's like it's like Adrian Bronner, basically. You know what I mean? Like, you really have to wait. That's the only point I'm making, right? You really have to wait and see if they put him in, uh, what types of fights they put him in. Oh, well, there it is. Did I, did I just give the game away? There it is. There it motherfucking is. You know? So, Jared Anderson... Uh, he's not going to be losing, not for a while. And and if he does, it's going to be a miscalculation or, uh, well, maybe some kind of a scam. Anyway, yeah, you know, good fighter, promising fighter, but... Uh, it's, this isn't rocket science, guys. This really isn't rocket science. What's going on here? I mean, they did it with Wilder, and they're doing it again. Except Bob is better at it. He's way better at it. Ask ask anybody who uh, from the LDBC who was around when Pacquiao was whooping ass. Uh, ask them what they had to say about Pacquiao and Bob Arum and in house fights, and um, or just go watch those videos, and and you know what the deal is, because they told on themselves a long, 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 long time ago. So we know what's up, those of us that do. Thanks for watching.